Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so, 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 so much for all of your love and your support for me. My name is Daisy. So today, okay, I'm going to be talking to you about eight easiest uh, Asian countries that you can become an English teacher, teaching the, pe the, pe the people of the country, okay? So uh, in my previous video, I talked about um, uh, uh, how easy it is for you to become an English teacher in China. It doesn't matter where you're from, as long as you can, uh, as long as you can speak very good English, and um, and as long as you have great confidence, you can absolutely teach uh, English in China. It is very very easy to be an English teacher in China. Okay, a lot of Chinese people always require um, uh, English teachers to come into their country. Uh, to teach them. Okay, so I talked about that in my previous video and today I will be talking to you guys about uh, the easiest, easiest Asian countries to that you can absolutely become a teacher. And also, the coup of it is in China, you don't have to have any type of experience, previous experience before, as long as you have confidence, like I said before, and then you can speak this English and write this English, you can be a teacher in China, you can be an English teacher in China, okay, and the benefits are great. All right, so let's dive right into today's video. All right, so the eight easiest and the, the, the most common places where anyone from anywhere in the world can teach English, it's not limited to native speakers only. Native English speakers are people that their ori uh, the language of origin is English. A lot of us, English is a second language for us. But fortunately for us, we can actually speak both English and our own language, okay? So it's not limited to, um, teaching English language is not only limited to people that own the language. We don't own the language. We borrowed the language, but we speak the language so well. We write the language so well, so why not? Why can't we be teachers? We can actually teach it because we speak it and because we write it. All that we need is the right confidence, you know, to be able to deliver the lectures, the education to the people that need it, okay? So now, um, eight, let's talk about the eight countries right now. So number one on my list, I have it listed here. So I don't have to, I don't, I don't want to forget anything at all. So that's why I actually put everything down here. So number one, in no particular order is Thailand. Number two, China. Number three, Vietnam. Number four, Taiwan. Number five, South Korea. Okay. Not North Korea. North Korea is the very, very, uh, controversial one so south korea and japan and then hong kong okay so but the easiest and the easiest of them all okay is the china in no particular order as well china vietnam cambodia i don't know if i mentioned cambodia right now cambodia is one of the eight asian countries you can teach uh, teach english as well okay cambodia vietnam Thailand, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, Thailand, okay, and China, of course. So, teaching English in those areas are not difficult at all. If you don't have a degree in English, that's okay. You don't have to have a degree in English. Uh, if you have a degree in any field, you can absolutely teach English in any part of those places. Um, and you don't have to have so, so, so much experience. You can learn on the job, build your own confidence by yourself, and then you're absolutely good to go. Also, if you want to enhance yourself to really certify yourself to be an international uh, uh, English teacher, you can enroll to study a short course, English course called, uh, just for you to have a certification to really, really back you up. It's not like it's really necessary because uh, if you have a degree in China, you can just teach. You speak the language, you, you can teach the language. So uh, even in Thailand, Cambodia, the same, but sometimes you just want to nourish yourself the more, you know, you want to put more to the spot. You want to put more spice to your life for you to be more uh, 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 attractive and even respected. And so that you have more chances, easy chances. I will put it that way because there are chances all over the world to teach English, but easy chances, you know, certification makes, um, certification makes employment recruitment easy for recruiters and for those that will be recruited, okay? It makes it smooth. Like when they see you're certified, you have the right qualification, it's easy for them to just pick you like that easily. And then they will look forward to what you can deliver through interview, right? So teaching English abroad, overseas, um, uh, you know, it's an, it's, it's a, teaching in itself, it's a very, very lively, interesting path 
uh, uh, to, 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 to follow. It's a very, teaching is life. Teaching is everything. So if you find yourself passing knowledge from yourself to other people, it is, it is just one of the most beautiful things in the world. I am a teacher and I can tell you categorically how it feels, you know, to be the one, you know, changing people from one thing they don't know to something they now know, you know, transferring knowledge from yourself to other people is amazing. So if you now decide to become this, one thing is to be a teacher, another thing is to be an international teacher. So imagine yourself already teaching in another country, okay? I am a standard international teacher and I'm very proud of, of, of I'm very proud of that, okay? So imagine yourself teaching internationally, um, teaching away from your country. It, that is absolutely amazing. It means you're teaching in a different part of the world. You're teaching people you don't know, people from different culture, people from different race. It is beautiful. It is some, it is just amazing to see yourself and look at yourself. You're lecturing people that are not, that are not even from your community, your country. They know nothing about you. You know nothing about them, but yet you are able to teach them and they understand you. That is amazingly beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to experience. So this is something you can try if you if you're if you're a teacher in your home country, anywhere in Africa, anywhere in the world, you can do this. There is there are great chances for you overseas to become an international English teacher. If you have never taught English before, you can absolutely do this as long as you speak the language, write the language, you can absolutely teach the language. So begin to think and put yourself in that position. See yourself as a star, see yourself that you can do it, have the right confidence, have the right attitude, and everything will just fall in place. Okay? All right. So, um, like I said, uh, uh, so, you know, uh, teaching abroad is beautiful. Teaching in, in a place where you don't know no one is beautiful. Teaching people you don't know is beautiful. So imagine yourself in a country you don't know no one. It is uh, such an amazing opportunity that even during your holidays, you can you 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 have the opportunity to travel around that particular country you're teaching, travel everywhere, see the people, see the culture, see everything beautiful they've got, learn from people, talk to other people you don't know, you know, gain knowledge from them. And then you can also extend your travel experience by traveling around the neighboring country. That is what teaching abroad offers you. That is that those are opportunities that uh, being an international English teacher in a foreign land, you know, affords you. You can enjoy your life while teaching. Uh, uh, other people uh, uh, while teaching other people passing knowledge onto other people it is such a beautiful amazing experience i hope this video will inspire you to begin to use what you have to get what you want you speak the language you can use it it's a skill in you that you have that other people need so brace yourself up and begin to think of using that language to acquire you know wealth in your life lots of experience passing knowledge to people it is a beautiful thing to, you know, to, to explore. So stand up today and think. See yourself as you can do it. Okay, don't say you don't have the experience. I don't know where to start from. You already have all you need. All you need is to know what you want to teach. Have You have the skills, so just learn how to teach it. Learn how to deliver it. And that's where confidence comes in. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will definitely see you in my next video. If you have questions for me, put it right down in the comment section below. I will definitely reply you. I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.